Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So today they had the first press conference for the Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner fight. And uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. They touched on a lot of different points. And uh, it was really good to see Pacquiao uh, back in, you know, getting ready to get back in the ring. But there were a few things that he mentioned that really kind of caught my attention. And this is when they asked Manny Pacquiao whether or not or, or rather, what he would do if he wouldn't get a shot at fighting Mayweather after Broner. Because we all assume that Manny Pacquiao is going to beat the living shit out of Adrian Broner. So they basically asked him, you know, if you don't get Mayweather next, what what are you looking to do? And it was refreshing to hear him mention a few names. Uh, he mentioned Errol Spence. He mentioned Terrence Crawford. And he also mentioned Sean Porter. You know, up until today, I didn't think Manny Pacquiao had those names in his vocabulary, but I think he knows who those guys are. And he basically said that he'll fight whoever. It really doesn't matter. Now, that remains to be seen, but at least we get a chance to hear him mention those fighters. One fight I would have liked to hear him mention was Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman actually holds the Super WBA Championship where he holds, what, what is that, the regular WBA Championship? And so he's hoping to lure Floyd out and get that rematch. But, of course, he's got to get through Adrian Broner. Again, we all feel like that's going to be an easy fight. But, again, very refreshing to hear him actually talk about that. And he actually talked about Errol Spence in depth in terms of, you know, what he would do to, to beat Errol Spence or just a fighter that's bigger than him in general, right? He mentioned using a lot of speed. At Manny Pacquiao's age, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how this fight's going to play out. I'm not sure if he's going to make easy work of Broner. You know, styles make fights. And my thing with Broner is, you know, when he starts getting hit, you know, he starts getting a little too defensive and he doesn't throw a lot of punches. Now, in the Jesse Vargas fight, he had switched trainers. And, he, you know, he was throwing more punches than normal. But not letting his hands go as much as he should have. Now, I'm not sure if he's planning on letting his hands go against Pacquiao, but Pacquiao still got a hard left hand. You know, we saw that in the Matisse fight. So my thing is, once Broner gets hit with that left or gets hit with a hard shot in general, is he going to retreat? Is he going to get more defensive? That's, that's typically what Broner does. You know, in order to avoid getting knocked down or knocked out like he did against Marcos Maidana. I think Adrian Broner is just trying to avoid being humiliated again like he did against Maidana. You know, when he was fighting Porter, he didn't throw no punches. Mikey Garcia, smaller guy, he still didn't throw no punches. He was super defensive. Coming forward, really not throwing a lot. But, you know, with Pacquiao, Pacquiao's guy, he's still, Pacquiao ain't, Pacquiao's not finished. If you understand what I mean, he's not he's not done. He's not a shot fighter yet. But this will kind of tell us where Pacquiao is in this moment. Of course, he had a great performance against Matisse. But Matisse was in that fight to lose. And he he quit. He quit on himself, his people and his family and friends and all of his fans. So we'll see what Broner is going to do. Now, I know Adrian Broner always, he says this shit all the time, you know. 100% uh, focus Adrian Broner can't lose, but you've already lost three times. So you're telling me you weren't focused for the Mikey Garcia fight? You're telling me you weren't focused for the Jesse Vargas fight? Like, be real with yourself. Is it for a paycheck? I mean, he's been wanting this fight with Pacquiao for a long time, so it could be that he, he is going to train hard for this fight. And it could be that he is ready for this fight, but you're not going to fool me. Fool me once. How's that shit go? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I don't fucking know. I don't know that shit. But you get what I'm saying. Adrian Broner is not someone that you want to put your money on. And in this situation, I'm rolling with Manny Pacquiao. Simple as that. I think it'll be a 12-round decision. Again, it's hard to knock a guy out who's 
purposely trying not to get knocked out. So we'll see how, how bad Adrian Broner wants it. If he wants it bad, he's going to let his hands go because Pacquiao will exchange with him. But we know Broner got a chin, man. Adrian Broner does have a chin. And at this point, I would say that Manny Pacquiao does not hit as hard as Marcos Maidana was hitting Broner in that fight. What was that, four, three, four years ago? When he lost, when he took his first loss. So this fight could end up being interesting. From what I could tell, it looks like Pacquiao doesn't respect him. I'm getting off topic here. Getting off topic. Back to, to the topic at hand. You know, Manny Pacquiao says he's willing to fight Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter. And that is if Floyd Mayweather doesn't come back to the ring. He mentioned something about like maybe two or three more fights, I guess, or two or three more years. It's kind of hard to, to gauge what Pacquiao's saying because I feel like he just says a lot of words and he doesn't know what they mean. But hey, it's Manny Pacquiao for you, right? But if he does fight for another two, three years and he does step up to the plate and take on some of these young prime welterweights, you know, I got to give him a lot more respect than I've given him in the past. A lot more respect than Floyd Mayweather will get from me, to be honest with you. Because right now, Pacquiao is active. And if he does get past Broner and Floyd don't want to fight and he takes on a Spence or a Porter or Thurman, I got to give him all the respect in the world for that, man. Because he don't got to fight them dudes at his age and with all he's accomplished in his career. Like, I could get on here and talk mad shit about Manny Pacquiao all day. But to be honest with you, you know, if he takes those fights, I will have a lot more respect from it for him. But... Will he take those fights? Doubtful. I mean, look at Terrence Crawford. I mean, you were you were with top rank, and you were saying, you, from what I heard, you know, you want an exorbitant amount of money to take that fight. You know, you didn't want to get, you didn't want to be his victim on pay per view. So, again, Pacquiao versus Broner. It's an interesting matchup only because of the antics that go on outside the ring. But in terms of what goes on in the ring. You know, I, I think Manny Pacquiao stands a very good chance at, at beating Adrian Broner pretty badly. But again, like I said, Broner's got the chin, man. And hopefully Floyd stays retired, stays out the ring, so we can see Manny Pacquiao fight some of these other guys, whether it's Spence, uh, Porter, Crawford. I would love to see some of those fights. Let me know what you guys think about his statements. Uh, hit man box and I'm out. Up out the 37th chamber, soul two dots, kill a beat, new generation. I'm killing niggas with no hesitations. Real hell razor, killing them softly because it builds patience. What's up with niggas and they fucking favorites? Swear to God, man, but I'ma just stop before they say I'm hating. Anyway, this be that chill wave. Each and every day, nigga, it's a lifestyle over this way. Along with getting blazed, talking to some slimmies. Sophisticated conversations while drinking some Henny or maybe some Irish whiskey. If they wanna get down, let's smoke a pound. Smoke rings, show us skills with a mouth. I'm on a different type of level than niggas getting they shine. All about that rah rah. I'm here to captivate the minds, turning niggas into zombie fans. A cult following that knows I get it poppin'. Just call me the showstopper, man. I'm Midwest to the fucking end. Subtracting bitch ass niggas from my life to get these dividends i'm dope hype fresh there's no contest follow your feather but it's never lifting you was the best i got these ferrari dreams with the top down nigga blowing tree cruising through the fucking south side nigga lots of hype beats strolling through my timeline nigga i just leave them where they at and focus on these figures i be the old mr grump really just don't give a fuck about these niggas feelings in my opinion they fucking suck yeah and if they want it they can see me bro i'm riding solo everywhere consider that a fucking dead these niggas scared of competition these days fuck a car to pull your page so you better behave i'm an angry nigga shake me watch me fucking explode like a champagne bottle that just dropped on the floor it's a whole lot of niggas that can't fuck with my torch a bunch of pussies they ain't never stepped a foot off they porch i'm on a genocide mission to exterminate these fucking fakes walking with this proton pack blowing my cares away 
I ain't finished yet serious like Korea threats Throwing out these slurs every minute like I got Tourette's Fuck shit bitch and some other adjectives Make it all rhyme, I had you bopping asking who is this It's soul two dots, raising the flag for hip hop The fifth element, secret weapon, I be a sure shot Spitting all these lyrics like it's fucking ammunition on a 40 cal Seeking destroying these motherfuckers out